Honey, I'm home. Oh, honey, I'm in the kitchen. Hello, sweetie. What is it? Oh, this never gets what happened to me today. Wait, you got a promotion and you're moving to Ghana without us? Well, how'd you know? Wait, you're moving to Ghana without us? <laughs> no, silly. I got a promotion. I am now in charge of the entire southern region. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. Tony, that is truly amazing. <laughs> What about your boss? Did he get a promotion too? <sighs> no, not exactly. I told you, ever since his divorce, he just hasn't been the same. Oh, how so? <laughs> just this past week, the custodian found him with nothing but socks on, running around the office building singing Celine Dion. <laughs> <laughs> Kofi, that is not funny. He had a mental breakdown. Tony, you have to admit, that's a bit funny. No. What's that song again? All by myself. Stop. <laughs> Well, I guess everywhere Celine Dion goes, she's always followed by a sinking ship, eh? <laughs> <sighs> Wait, what about Nicholas? What about him? I mean, with me going back and forth to Ghana, and with your new job, you're going to be working more hours. Who's going to be here with him? Well, honey, I honestly think it's time we bring in some help. Remember, we were contemplating for a while, and I honestly think now is the time. No, 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 no. I'm not going to have some crazy person just running around my house and just socks singing Dionne Warwick. Not happening. It's Celine Dion, not Dionne Warwick. Oh, whatever. I say we call a few agencies and just see how it goes. You never know, they might ease your mind. Somehow I don't think so. Well, I'm sorry, honey, but you married a businesswoman. Now, we both knew this day would come. Besides, what other option do we have? Oh, we can always fly my mother in from Ghana. She can stay in the room next to Nicholas. Problem solved. No, no, and no. Kofi, there is no way that woman is staying in my house. None. Now, I'm going to find a few agencies. Tony, are you upset about what happened at the wedding? It's been several years. I'm sorry, did you forget she invited your ex fiance as her plus one? No. It's been several years. Plus, we got a wonderful wedding gift out of the deal, eh? <laughs> Bye, Kofi. Oh, Tony, we're full. Jamie. Gladys, what are you doing here? Here. The top packages belong to you. The rest of the package belong to your neighbors. Now you can either personally deliver them yourself or you can have them come by here and pick it up. But I cannot keep walking up and down your long driveways. Gladys, I'm not your personal I was supposed career. to be home 30 minutes ago, but I am missing family food. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. Even though I know I look good for my age. Mm -hmm. You make it seem like I'm at some football combine. I'm not trying to be drafted. <sighs> Just happened. What now? Ah, Carlos, I thought it was Gladys again. A coffee cake. <laughs> Last time somebody handed me some packages, I ended up with a cellmate named the Big Whopper. And why do they call him the Big Whopper? You don't want to know. Carlos, what are you doing here? First you assault me with these illegal packages. Now you treat me like an unwanted guest. Because you're an unwanted guest. See, man, that's why I ain't even here for you anyway. Then why are you here? I'm here to celebrate with my little sis. She just got a promotion. <laughs> what you ain't know? Probably too busy trying to get rid of all these illegal packages. And how do you know about the promotion? Family group chat. What family group chat? Don't worry about it. It's family only, mustache. Call me that one more time. You ain't gonna do nothing. What now? Yeah, what now? Let me ask it. This is not your house. Man, this is my sister Chris. You know who pays the mortgage here? Oh, what? Hello. 
I'm Madison with Nanny Corp. Hi, and how may I help you? Hey, Carlos. Hey, sis. Hi, you must be Madison. We yes. spoke earlier on the phone. Hey. Wait, so you already called an agency? Yes, <clears throat> a few. I had a long lunch. Hey, Tony. <laughs> Uh, Madison, please, have a seat. Uh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> How you doing? Excuse me. So, Madison, tell us more about yourself. Yeah, Madison, tell us more about yourself. <laughs> well, I got my degree from Spelman College. Girl, you went to Spelman? I went to Spelman. It's a small world, ain't it? Carlos, Spelman is an all-girls school. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> Please, continue. Well, I taught early education for five years right out of college, and I've been with Nanny Corp for about three... Are you married? Because I don't see a wedding band on that lockdown finger. And I feel like it'll be pretty irresponsible for a married woman to forget a wedding band like that. No, I'm not married, and I have no children, which helps with caring for other people's children. Yeah, that sounds great. Um, so... Put your number, address, and your cash app in here, and I'll be, in, I mean, we'll be in contact with you. Uh, you know what? Perhaps we should have dinner to discuss your credentials. Ooh, sure. Because <laughs> I haven't been out to dinner with a man since the voices in my head start speaking to me directly. But I'm sure they won't mind. <laughs> <laughs> So I see here that you're a grandmother. Do you think you'll have enough energy to take care of a 10-year-old? Ma'am? Hey, ma'am. She done fell asleep. Do you like what you see? On my resume? Um, yes. Um, when do I start? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Next! Oh. M. G. Did you see those shoes? How did she get them? Those aren't even out yet. I swear, she is so spoiled. Hold on one second. This job does come with the driver, right? Uh-uh. Yeah. But did you see those shoes? Bruh, that was crazy. So what y'all gonna do now? I don't know. I know what you can do. Go and get Nicholas for us, please. Wow, y'all treat me like I'm the nanny around here. <laughs> Ooh. Hurry up, hurry up. Hey, be patient. Eddie Murphy from 48 Hours Mustache. Look. Carlos. Your brother is so disrespectful. I know, I will talk to him. Whose house? Nick's house? Sorry, my Mandarin's a little rusty. Nephew, you speak Chinese? I thought you was in here watching Karate Kid or something. Well, the proper terminology is Mandarin, and I understand it better than I can speak it. Excuse me. This is my Uncle Carlos. Uncle Carlos, these are my colleagues. <laughs> Your colleagues? <laughs> I'm almost 40 years old, and I can't even spell colleagues. I'm late to another meeting. Good day to you all, and to you as well, Mr. Carlos. A uh, good day to you, too. <laughs> uh, nephew, so you in here translating Chinese for your little friends? Again, it's Mandarin. And why does he assume we need a translator? Is it because we're kids, because we're American, or because we're black? Either way, it's condescending. <laughs> uh, little girl, don't walk up on me. You don't know me like that. For your information, Mr. Carlos, I speak and write in five different languages fluently. Are you still shocked? If I wasn't a kid, I would put you in your place. Nicholas, what to do this pseudo intellectual? Oh, uh, look, girl, I don't know what you just said, but you better watch your mouth, because I give out spankings in five different languages. Don't let them frustrate you. It's just this generation. My generation? Tony! You better come get these kids. Y'all must don't know I'm fluent in whoop knees That's one of my languages. It's okay, Mr. Carlos. I don't speak Mandarin either. Mm. But your name, you're fluent in Spanish. Un tardili, Jesuma. 
I need to finish my thesis on thermonuclear fusion, and I don't want to miss the season finale of Spider-Man. Meeting adjourned. Yeah. <laughs> Meeting adjourned. Little big brains. Get out of here. Yeah. Don't let me catch y'all on the street either. You can catch me right now. Hey. Nick, your little friends are a little too smart for y'all on good. Well, actually, there's no such thing as being too smart. Uh, you got a lot to learn, nephew. But if I'm a lot to learn, then won't I run the risk of being too smart by your logic? I don't know, boy. Just go on upstairs. Your mama wants you. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> Hello. Hey, sweetie. How was your meeting? It was substantive. Hey, English, Nick. English. But that was English. Oh, my bad. Nicholas, your mother got a new job. Mom, you got a new job? Well, I got a promotion. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, son. Now, I start my new role soon, but fortunately, we don't have anyone to look after you. What about Uncle Carlos? <laughs> Please. <laughs> now, that's pretty funny. No. Nicholas, your Uncle Carlos couldn't even watch himself, even if he was looking directly in the mirror. You knew she was sitting right here, don't you? Oh, clearly. <sighs> Thanks for the love, nephew. But your Uncle Carlos really ain't the babysitting type. Mm -mm. Well, I can ask some of my friends some nannies if they know someone. How much does it pay? It's $2,500 a month. $2,500? Ooh, I do it. Carlos, please. What? I'll watch nephew for y'all. Carlos, how does that fit in with your job? Aren't you working full time? No. Part time? Nope. No time? Yep. What happened? Cancel culture. Man, one bad tweet pretty much derailed my stand-up dreams. <laughs> uh, everybody just so sensitive nowadays. But don't worry, as soon as my publicist smooths things over with Black Twitter, I'll be right back invited to the cookout. <laughs> they might make me bring the potato salad. <laughs> hey, but until then, I could use the extra cash. And the bonus is I get to spend time with nephew. Come on, Carlos, do you really think Nicholas will fit into your bachelor life? I mean, he's not your average kid. Well, Mom, now that I think about it, I don't require supervision. I'm actually 20% more effective without any oversight. It's less distractive. Yeah, and y'all need to be asking if he can handle me. <laughs> All this swag I got, I probably could teach him nephew a thing or two. <laughs> okay. Let's just see how serious you are starting tonight. Kofi and I are going out to celebrate my promotion. We'll be out late and you can stay here and watch Nicholas. Okay, okay, you ain't saying nothing but a word. That's light work for me. Mm. I need to exercise my parental skills anyway. <laughs> In case one of my little shorties come up with a little. <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> Keep an eye on him. I got him, I got him. I was talking to Nicholas. <laughs> Get out of here, Isaac from the love boat. Who's Isaac from the love boat? A uh, big mustache man. Don't worry about it. Whose house? Nick's house? Well, since your mom and dad are out to dinner, I figured I'd make us something to eat. Hey, have you ever had one of your Uncle Carlos' famous burgers? No. Oh, well, you in for a real treat, little brother. Well, if they're so famous, then how come I've never heard of them? See, if I would have said that growing up, your granddad would have went upside my head. There was no talk back back in my day. You talk back, you got back smacked, and then smacked back again. <laughs> your granddad didn't have any toys because he didn't play any games. Uncle Carlos, I don't remember granddad. Mom never talks about him. What was he like? Well, you a lot like him, actually. He was an entrepreneur. He had his own trucking company. He was a hardworking man. Me and him were always bumping heads. But he and your mom were tighter than a new jar of jelly. He used to call her Twinkie. Twinkie? Yeah, because he used to say her eyes twinkled so much. It was really hard for her when he passed. It's hard for her to talk about him, but your mom is like him in some ways. She has his work ethic and his laugh. 
That man had a laugh that could fill a whole room. And not in a good way. He and your mom had the type of laugh that make you stop laughing. He <laughs> actually quite disturbing. <laughs> and I tell you this, I never saw him happier than the day you were born. He would rock you to sleep and dress you in old man clothes. He was just so proud that he had a grandson. Well, I wish you were still here. So do I, nephew. So do I. You ready to cook? My mom doesn't let me cook. She says it's too dangerous. Too, man, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. We're not in Vegas. Come on, nephew, you got a lot to learn. Yeah. That lettuce over there, look at that lettuce. That's fresh lettuce, too. That's a whole head. Wait, wait. So if I file that, I get how much back on my taxes? Well, if you file this right here, you'll get that much back on your taxes. These are what we call business expenses. Oh, boy, you a regular H&R blockhead. <laughs> you know what? Keep working on that. You deserve a treat for your hard work and effort. And your uncle brought a little something something with me, too. You gonna love these, nephew. Hey, Mom. Nicholas, how are things going? Things are going well, Mom. I'm finishing up on Uncle Carlos's taxes, then I finally plan to retire for the day. His taxes? <laughs> okay. Well, make sure you're in bed by 8.30. Of course, Mom. I have an early Zoom meeting before my coursework. Okay, sounds good. Hey, how's Carlos? Are you two behaving yourselves? Yes, we're having fun. We finished up on Uncle Carlos's famous burgers, and they were delicious. Okay, well, we shouldn't be out too much longer. We'll see you soon, okay? Okay. Bye. Bam, bam, bam! I bet you never had s'mores before. Knowing your parents, you've been deprived of your entire childhood. <laughs> Uncle Carlos, I don't think I can have those. Mom says it's too much sugar. No, these are sugar-free s'mores. Get this place back in order before your mom and dad get back. Boy, oh, come on, no. man, get up. You're right. Well, they're going to flip. Uh, will we still go to trash? I don't know. Hurry up, man. Hurry up. Oh, hey, Carlos. Hey, What you sis? doing? <laughs> Just in here reading a good book. <laughs> uh, Carlos, that book is upside down. Oh, uh, how was dinner? Oh, dinner was great. Yeah, how was everything here? Everything was tremendous. Mm. <laughs> oh, tremendous, huh? <laughs> yep. I see someone is rubbing off on you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> well. Wait a minute. Huh? <clears throat> Carlos, what is this? A snack? I'm gonna check on Nicholas. Hey man, that, 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 that was already there. No, yeah, that, that, that came to the house. That must have came to the house. Nick! Nicholas, I know you aren't asleep. Nick! Okay, okay. I'm not sleeping. <sighs> Nick, what happened tonight? And tell the truth. Well, I know the rules. But me and Uncle Carlos had fun. We danced. We jumped around in the furniture. We even had a sports fight. <sighs> okay, maybe we had a 
little too much fun. But it was nice to think about my portfolio for once. Or how all my stocks should perform me. Well, I'm glad you two had your fun. But Uncle Carlos won't be watching you anymore. But Mom. No. Now come on, Nick. You know the rules. I can't trust you and Uncle Carlos will behave yourselves if me and your father aren't here. Nick, rules and structure are very important at this stage of your life. Do you understand that? Yes, Mom. I understand. Okay. Now come on, let's get ready for bed. For real. Come on. All right. Okay. I love you, Nicholas. Love you too. Twinkie. for our family trip? Well, Texan. What's that? Hey there! <laughs> How y'all doing? Um, were you able to deliver those boxes? <laughs> Look, never mind. Just give them to me. I'll take care of them. All right. Well, since you wasn't able to help me out, can the sister at least get a chip? Aw, thank you. Probably still anyway. Bye. Bye, stingy. What is up with her? Most of it just needs to retire here. <laughs> oh, no. This better not be glad to me. <laughs> What's up, Don Cheeto, brother? <laughs> hey, what's up, Nick? Uh, 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 my guy. So what's up, sis? Y'all wanted to see me about something? Yeah, we wanted to pay you for last night. Bet. <laughs> Get that cheese. Yes, we figured you could use the money. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? I can't take y'all money, sis. Last night was one of the best nights of my life. I got a chance to connect with my nephew, and Nick is a cool kid. I just wanted him to experience life the way other kids do. But you know what? That wasn't my place. I meant no harm. I'll just get out y'all hair. Wait. Oh, I was wondering if you was gonna stop me. <laughs> Look, thank you for watching Nicholas last night. Yeah. And you're right, he should experience life more like a child and have a bit more fun. Yeah. Within reason. So, we decided you can watch him. Oh. Yes. But on a trial basis. You serious? You for real? Yes, really. As long as you two don't try to burn the house down, man. <laughs> Please. Yeah. I got you, I got you. But I do got one question, though. What's that? Since I am employed here now, can I get my money back? <laughs> <laughs> Give me the cheese. Thank you. Uh, look, we're going out. Where y'all going? Out. We're going out now that we have a nanny. A nanny, man. <laughs> but have fun. Not too much fun. Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> so what are we gonna do now? Oh, you ever played doorbell ditch? No. Oh, you got a lot to learn, nephew. Step into my office. You have an office? Oh, here. I'm about to get one, though. I'm about to buy your mom in them house. <laughs>